Hi, I'm Rashmi Menon. I'm from 4th uh, year, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Peetam. Uh, basically, I'm from Group 1 of Amrita Vishwavidya Peetam and we are doing on 3rd eye technology. My group mates are Vipin, Danita, Jajan and Karthik, whom you will be getting introduced soon. So now let's just enter the technicalities of what is my project about. For that, I will take the help of my abstract, which I have uploaded in the Google Drive. In fact, we have uploaded in the Google Drive. So, yes, so this is the abstract which is uploaded in the Google Drive. And it says DSLR quality spectacles and it has a freeze next to it. It freezes time. So basically, why, how did we come up with this idea? When we travel a lot or when we kind of, you know, have some unexpected beautiful instances in our life, we always wish we had our camera by ourselves. But it's not very easy. And some terrains or some places, it's very hard to handle a camera. In such places, anybody would think, what if they had the camera embedded within their eye? Of course, that's a bit tough. But of course, we can have a spectacles with camera and good video in. So in market right now, there are spectacles, especially spy cams with such camera and video technologies, but it doesn't have good enough resolution. Here we need to freeze our memories or freeze time as such. So we need good resolution spectacles, which has interface with uh, some social networking, Facebook or Twitter. That means internet connectivity interface to our mobiles or laptops even. So such things we are more interested in. And if we have such a product, it would be nice because with the start of social media, our whole culture has changed. Nowadays, all of us, all of us are interested in taking up photos, clicking photos and putting it, putting it on FB. So we need some medium. For example, you are going on a bike ride. It's going to be very tough to have a person behind you who takes the video on wherever you go. But now, if we have it within your glasses, such a high resolution thing, then it can work wonders. So that's our product in a brief and the main areas which we have identified all together, we sat, we discussed and we identified some main areas in which this can be applied and that is wildlife photography, adventure sports, highly risky terrains while traveling in those highly risky terrains, scuba diving, you can have a waterproof one also for scuba diving or during riding as I said or even making your own YouTube uh, video. You don't need help of somebody. Maybe you can keep this glasses somewhere looking at you and you can take it. It's easy. And the best, the speciality of it is, it's within a blink, a blink of eye. So if you see some kind of like bird fly or butterfly which is just taking off, you just need to blink your eye just like that and that's done. And you can edit it on screen. So which makes it more customized and user friendly. So major, mainly, cutting my whole talks short, mainly we have identified four regions of four stratas in which we can do the project and that is marketing, uh, we need to do a market study, then we need to study on the technology which we are going to use, prototyping and scripting and video. Under the market study, my whole team has uh, identified six companies who are major players in the production of DSLR which is Nikon, Panasonic, Canon, Sony, Pe uh, Pentex and Olympus. So we will be studying on these companies, their customers, their prices etc. Right now our more viewers since there's a lot of social networking we have a lot of customers. Our customers are from different age, different background, mostly belonging to the middle and upper class who has access to internet and who has a very uh, a average livelihood. Then the technology part and the prototyping. The main problem with our prototyping is, is it user friendly? Can it be handled by a customer? Like will it give full view for your eye? It shouldn't have any interface with the eye. Like it shouldn't uh, interfere with your normal view, this camera spectacles. 
and then we are also working on scripting and videoing. Right now we are in the first part of the big model which is identifying, we have already identified the part in which we have to work, investigating. Now for investigating we are planning to do surveys along with our market research which I have already told you. The surveys will be questionnaires distributed among the, mar uh, the mass comm students, the mass media and communication students who can help us redesign this product and then exactly so you know we are kind of identifying then investigating then making it better by getting the feedback so we are in that phase of the big model so these are our short plans and roadmaps hope you are satisfied with this we will be updating you more on our google drive through documents thank you and stay updated.